What's up, buddy? I can kick the walk sign. This is a book I made. Everybody's a fucking photographer. There's a bit of male frontal nudity in there. Hey, Ed Templeton got me into skateboarding. <laughs> what am I gonna do about it? Is that you getting a blowjob in that photo? Yeah, in a taxi cab in New York. It's not for the kids, it's art. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. How much do I weigh? 162. I've kind of gained weight. There was a point where I was like, like 40. No more of that, man. You know I'm healthy. What's the secret? Like, Good eating? I neglect your skateboard career for like seven to nine years and move out of New York and come to California, revamp a skateboard career and um, you know, wake up every day and have coffee and smoke. You're supposed to wait an hour for your first cigarette. That's really tough to do. Uh, but an hour later, it's still your first cigarette. So if Drahobo just waited an hour, you could just. I think we'll, we'll, we'll be me and Dale will be just smoking well into our 70s if we do that. <laughs> I mean, that's my plan, I hope. You join any silly religions? Oh, because I'm in Los Angeles? Yeah. And because skateboarders are rampant morons? I'm a Scientologist now. You didn't know? <laughs> I had my Scientology party and everything. I thought I invited you. No, I didn't get the invite. If I was a Scientologist, I'd have to go around looking like this all the time. I should start my own Scientology. What did L. Ron Hubbard do? I'm so stoked Deirdre never became a Scientologist. Because I love Rob so much. Rob did do the, the cleansing. They put you in this, this heat uh, thing and you sweat out all this stuff and like everything you've ever done in your life like comes out and everything like that and like uh acid and sunburns and all this stuff come back to you apparently I didn't do it he was like yeah Dill if, if you would have done it there you would have just disintegrated do your Scientologist buddies cry when you make fun of it I don't have any Scientologist buddies I'm an SP Chris suppressive person Scientologists aren't allowed to correspond with suppressed people Tom Cruise said imagine there's a world with no SPs he's on video saying this and he starts laughing like maniacally <laughs> What's up, Gary? You're looking at your butt all day. <laughs> Remember when you got in your accident? You had to wear this. Yeah, you were hit by a car on 2nd Avenue. Something happened where it smashed up his wiener. It's not my dog. They almost had to cut your wiener off, didn't they? I don't think I want a dog. How about a kid? <laughs> right. I don't work well with others. I mean, I've had a monkey that like, smoked cigarettes and hung out with me and like drank near beers and like. He could take care of the dog and the kid. So you're the flagship dude on the syndicate team. Yeah. Does that mean a part in the Vans video? Yeah. It's it's weird because you you're you're out doing it, and you're just like, man, is, is this gonna be like, is this good enough? And then there's stuff you make where you're like, all right, hang on to that. That one took me a long time. Like I don't care who does what in the next two years, I'm putting that out. You look at that as. Your last part. I'll come to a point one one day where I won't push. Where I, I'll draw the line, I guess. But for now, if someone wants to put a part out, like, I'll, put, I'll put it out. Like I'll I'll do my best to do it. God knows I didn't do my best in the past at certain times. But there's a couple parts that I wouldn't change for anything. Like photo and and mosaic. I really worked hard for both those parts. Photo was was. Just it just did happen. I didn't see my part before it came out. First time I saw my part was when I went to Philly. I didn't see any of the intro, none of that. I didn't know Carter was recording our phone calls. Kastrusi called me. He was like, "You see, did you see the video yet?" And I said, "No, nah, I'm just about to watch it." He was like, "Don't get mad." And I was like, "Why would I get mad?" And he's like, "There's something in there that you don't know about." And then I saw it. I was like, "Oh, that's great. That's really funny." But I mean, of course, I sound like a fucking total spaz. <laughs> I just hate that you can go on the internet and just see me babble about bullshit. You know, I'll say what the fuck's on my mind. People like it or they don't. You know, I like it when they don't like it. Get on your computer and fucking talk to the other people get that are on the computer about, oh, what'd he say? Oh, no, he's fucking talking. <laughs>